Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about navy beans and the nutritional aspects and health benefits of these little white beans. There's no doubt navy beans do pack a high nutritional punch. They're rich in protein, folate, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, panathenic acid, vitamin B6, iron, potassium, magnesium, copper, phosphorus, manganese, zinc, and selenium. They're so high in fiber that only a one cup serving of cooked navy beans has 19 grams of fiber. That's actually 91% of the daily recommended intake of fiber. Hey, <laughs> If you're not getting enough fiber, include some navy beans in your, in your days somewhere along the line. That will help make up for it. Now there's about 255 calories in one cup of cooked navy beans for those who are counting. Along with that high nutritional value comes some definite health benefits associated with navy beans. Reduced risk of metabolic syndrome is one of them. Metabolic syndrome is a combination of conditions that increase your risk for heart disease and stroke and type 2 diabetes. It's something pretty serious and something that none of us want. The conditions include increased blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol or, and or triglyceride levels. Having one of those conditions does not mean you have metabolic syndrome, but you need to have several of them combined to be diagnosed as having metabolic syndrome. And it's, you, with, with that, you would have a much greater risk for developing uh, the heart disease, stroke, or type 2 diabetes. Up to one-third of American adults do have metabolic syndrome. This is pretty serious. Research studies have shown that navy beans appear to help reduce the symptoms of metabolic syndrome. In a study reported in the March 2015 issue of the Canadian Journal of Dietetic Practice and Research, researchers studied 14 adults who were overweight or obese. The subjects ate five cups of navy beans a week for four weeks. Now, no, they didn't eat them all at once. Nobody would want to do that five cups in a week's time, that's less than a cup a day, for four weeks. And they all experienced waist circumference and a reduction in their total and their LDL, that's the undesirable cholesterol when compared to baseline. So right there, they can help in weight loss, reducing your waist circumference, improving your cholesterol levels. In another study reported in the February 2017 issue of Global Pediatric Health, researchers fed 38 children who had abnormal blood cholesterol levels. They, they fed them a muffin or a smoothie that had 17 and a half grams of navy bean powder every day for four weeks. By the end of the study, they had higher levels of HDL, which is the healthier type of cholesterol when compared to the control group. Navy beans can also help to reduce your risk for heart attack. In the July 1999 issue of the European Journal of Epidemiology, researchers examined the food intake patterns and the risk of death from heart disease among over 16,000 men in seven countries for 25 years. This is dubbed the seven country study. And in those uh, countries, they really examined the typical eating patterns of those men. And they were broken up to, into various groups, a high meat consumption, higher consumption of vegetables, etc. You can see the details on this on my blog post. But when the final data were analyzed after 25 years of following these men, they compared the risk of death from heart disease versus dietary pattern. And the researchers found that the higher legume consumption was associated with an 82% reduction in heart attack risk. 
Let me say that again. The more legumes they ate was associated with a much greater reduction in heart attack risk. 82% reduction. That's major. Surely it can help in only positive ways if you include more legumes in your diet and that would include navy beans. Navy beans can also help to stabilize our blood sugar. Researchers have found that the fiber, again there's that plenty of fiber in navy beans, helps to stabilize our blood sugar levels, especially in people with insulin resistance, hypoglycemia, and diabetes. So whether your sugar levels are low or high and you're not responding to insulin, adding navy beans into your diet on a regular basis can help. Studies have shown that high fiber diets help to balance our blood sugar levels by providing a steady, slow burning energy. And they have found that those who consume about 50 grams of fiber a day, that may sound like a lot, but if you're eating a lot of plant foods, you can get 50 grams of fiber a day without taking any fiber supplements. But those who had the 50 grams of fiber a day had lower levels of blood sugar and insulin. Okay, The high fiber group also had lower total cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and VLDL, that's the very low density lipoprotein cholesterol. Navy beans are considered to be a low glycemic index food with a rating of 29. So if you're following that, these are on the good side. Navy beans can also help to reduce your risk of iron deficiency. One cup serving of navy beans provides over four milligrams of iron, and that's actually doesn't sound like much, but that's actually substantial. So if you are at risk of developing iron deficiency, eating navy beans on a regular basis can help to boost your iron stores, preventing or reducing the risk for iron deficiency anemia. Unlike eating red meat, which is, of course is another source of dietary iron, navy beans are low in calories and virtually fat free. So consuming navy beans for the sake of iron alone is a healthier choice than red meat. Pregnant and lactating women, growing children and adolescents all have increased needs for iron. So including navy beans in their meals on a regular basis can help to meet those needs. Regarding energy production and antioxidant protection, navy beans are a very good source of manganese and a good source of copper and both of those minerals are essential cofactors in the oxidative enzyme superoxide dimutase. And this enzyme is critical because it disarms free radicals and that are produced in the mitochondria. So copper in particular is needed for the activity of the enzyme lysyl oxidase, which is important in linking collagen and elastin. Both substances are critical in providing flexibility to blood vessels, bones, and joints. So both copper and manganese that are found in navy beans can do you a lot of good as far as especially antioxidant protection. Navy beans can also help to protect our memory. Vitamin B1 plays a role in the enzyme reactions that are critical to energy production and brain cell and cognitive function. Thiamine, the vitamin B1, is used in the making of acetylcholine, which is an important neurotransmitter that is very essential for our memory. Lack of acetylcholine has been shown to be a significant contributing factor in age-related impairment of mental function or senility as we know it, and also Alzheimer's disease. It has been well established that people with Alzheimer's disease have a lower acetylcholine level. So one cup, here we go with the one cup again, one cup of cooked navy beans has almost 40% of the recommended daily needs of thiamine, which can help to keep our acetylcholine levels where they should be. Protein in navy beans. We know that all beans are good sources of protein. So if you're wondering where 
people get protein when they follow a plant-based diet wonder no more if they eat beans they're doing well even if they don't eat beans they're still getting adequate protein but navy beans are a good source of protein with one cup providing about 42 percent or 15 grams of the recommended daily intake of protein so if you're wondering where you can get your protein, navy beans can certainly help. Also, if you're thinking you can only get your protein from meat, navy beans do provide a blood sugar stabilizing effect and heart health benefits, uh, soluble fiber and other benefits that meat does not offer. So it pays to think this through once in a while and include some beans in your diet if you possibly can. If you're not used to eating beans, you want to include them. Don't start with a whole lot all at once. Your gut microbiome has to get used to them. Start with a little bit and slowly increase that until you achieve the intake that your, your goal is, whatever your goal is, whether it's one cup a day or whatever it is. Don't start high. Start with a low amount and slowly increase until you're comfortable with it and until you've reached your goal. I do hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Bye for now.